Hello, welcome back. It's not a ukulele bonus midweek mini review on this series of small bodied guitars that I'm looking at that may be of interest to ukulele players who don't already play guitar and have been a little bit reluctant to try one. Uh, small bodies, smaller scales, that kind of thing can be really helpful to sort of bridge that gap and I'm not talking about the big stuff. So I've featured a couple already. This is one I've been really looking forward to looking at. This is the Gretsch G9500 Jim Dandy. And it's a parlor and it's a very, very traditional parlor for a couple of reasons that we'll come on to. Now, it's interesting, I do ukulele reviews. This one is, um, if I saw a ukulele that came to me like this, when I come into the specs of it, I'd probably be running a mile and not expecting the best. And that is to say, this is all laminate. This is all laminate plywood. This is all laminate basswood, basswood. The cheapest stuff that instruments can be made from. It's also covered in a flat paint and it comes in a range of colors. This one is called Nocturne Blue. Comes in a black sunburst. This is a limited edition color and a load of others. So as I say, those sort of things make me run for the hills, but there is an old tradition years back of those parlors were made of cheap plywood and they were painted to make them look sort of western and cowboy instruments and uh, they worked <clears throat> so i was interested about this one because i see a lot of positives about it i love the look of it i think whether you like the blue or not there's a black one but i love the old timey look this is very small parlor body very narrow from here to here um it's just a skinny little thing um, <clears throat> as I say, this is this Nocturne Blue, finished this flat blue, all over it, all over it. Little nice features that are not modern as well, like a plastic um, strap button there. Cream binding around the top with this white purfling line added to it. They all have this white scratch plate with the G for Gretsch on it. The bridge is really interesting um, because most acoustic guitars you see will have a pin bridge this is called a top load bridge made of walnut screwed down in place and the strings go through that bar and they the ball ends just hook in there that is a compensated bone saddle on the top so as i say all laminate pretty thick notch linings inside there x braced but very very tidy i can't find any flaws with this at all really really nice the satin bizarrely um, even though it's a satin terrible for fingerprints I'm sure gloss would be worse but there we are now the neck we move on we get into very typical um, parlor um, territory again here it's shorter scale than the instruments I looked at last week the PRS this is just a straight up 24 inch scale from the nut to the bridge a smaller than most dreadnoughts but also it's joined at the 12th not the 14th so the amount of neck here is a lot shorter by two frets so you get uh how many did we get 18 of those 12 to the body so that's quite that's very traditional old timey not the 14th no sharp edges flat edge bound in black as you can probably see these big oversized position dots at 5 7 10 and 12 you've also got white dots on the side bone nut <coughs> um really simple old timey looking headstock gretch jim dandy and then this interesting one as I say, steel reinforced neck. That means there's a truss rod, and there is. You can adjust the truss rod from in there. It comes with a set of the Dario strings, 12s. It's not heavy, 1.61 grams, made in Indonesia. Now, okay, going back to what I was saying, that um, if I saw a ukulele come to me like this, basswood, plywood body, paint finish, I wouldn't be expecting the best. <laughs> this is all right. <laughs> you know what, I've been playing this an awful lot let's just make sure it's bang in tune for you i've been playing this an awful lot this has not got a dreadnought tone it hasn't got a tone as good as that prs i looked at last week but uh, i'd seen a lot of positive reviews about these i was not entirely sure i believed for them volume great it's got quite a bit, it's a bit brittle. It's thin, but this is a really small little box body. Should we try that again? playing and it's not it's kind of booms but it, it that's what it 
sounds like it's a blues box. It's a booty blues box. But what I really liked about it, it's really sweet up here. This <laughs> this has really, really surprised me. I've got hold of these to put them on these reviews. I need to sell them on because I, uh, so I can get you more instruments because God of Ukulele is not about making profit. It's about getting more instruments for you, rather than my personal collection. I really don't want to sell this, but I've got to sell it. Um, I, this is remarkable. I might buy another one out of my own pocket and get one because it is, it's just that old time blues box thing. That's what it is. It's, it's not trying to be a sweet Martin, a sweet Taylor, a sweet, um, I don't know, whoever, um, high end acoustic guitar. It's meant to look like you are you just got off the box car. Um, you've got a hole in your shoe and you're gonna go and busk on the street corner and play with it, and that's what it sounds like. But it's really nice, as I say, I mean, yes, it, it's just got that. Old bluesy time stuff, you could play slide on it wonderfully, I suspect, but it's, it's quite pretty when you dig into it. A little bit thin on the tone, but I think that's part of it. I'm rambling. Why am I rambling? My ukulele uh, sight readers will know when I ramble it's because I really like something. The Jim Dandy G9500 from Gretsch. Um, walnut bridge, walnut fingerboard, didn't mention that. All laminate basswood body, joined at the 12th, 24 inch scale Dario strings, uh, made in Indonesia. Oh, vintage style tuners, no real complaints with those either. I absolutely adore this. I think these are marvellous. Right, there we are. Okay, back on this weekend coming with the ukulele, and it's a very, very special one. Then there's another guitar next week. I don't know which one it is. I've got a choice about two or three to give you. Uh, don't know what it'll be. Depends on the weather. This weather, we've had a bit of a cool off at the moment, but I've got this, had to get this done tonight because I think the temperature tomorrow is going to be insane in the UK. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you're enjoying these little mini guitar reviews. God, a ukulele is not changing to a guitar website. Please, 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 those people who are starting to get irritated by it. It's just I'm fulfill fulfilling a bit of demand of something people ask for. That's all. There we are. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go very carefully. Stay safe in this heat. Put the sunscreen on and keep out of the warmth. I'll see you at the weekend. Bye-bye.